So, I haven't done a video for ages and I do apologise. I was going to do loads and just been so busy with clients and um, running up to, well, September's always hectic. So now it's just starting to get back to some sense of normality. So I thought I'd do a video on Halloween because it's coming up and that is like, hence the hat. No, that'd be quirky. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so obviously Halloween is about, if I post this on time, it's about a week, week and a half away. Um, some dogs cope really well with Halloween and everything that it entails and some dogs really don't. So I thought I'd do a little video so you can see what you could do to help your dog um, prepare for Halloween. I was going to go for a witch's hat, but I thought it was maybe a bit close to the truth. So, and this one's a bit quirky. Anyway. Um, and so there's a few things that dogs struggle with um, for Halloween. There's a lot of novel items about. So people put decorations up. Um, in Harrogate, we have a lot of people from America and I know that they love Halloween more than we tend to go for um, over here. So there's often things in people's front gardens, things kind of um, on doorsteps, flickering in windows. Um, and some of these things might spook a dog. So we're looking really at dogs who maybe haven't experienced Halloween before um, or who don't cope particularly well with new um, novel items, things that they've not seen before, they don't cope particularly well with them. So what you could do with doing is when you go on your walks, taking loads of treats, if they do see something new that they're unsure of, let them have the space and the time to go and look and introduce that item to them slowly let them investigate it in their own time use some treats and some um like nice positive things that they like to help them associate nice positive feelings with the new novel stimuli that they're seeing whether that's a pumpkin with a candle in it whether it's a a, a ghost um, or a skeleton in a coffin that comes up and down and um, some things will spook dogs some things won't some things will be and you know you won't be prepared for some things that will spook your dog and other things you you might be um but just i would say just take some really good treats out some liver pate or something like that that you can help make your dog have a nice positive association and let them do it in their time do not force them over to the thing and say you must be okay with this because they, they don't have to be you know and we can make them feel more comfortable and confident um with the addition of nice positive items. Trick or treat. So I know that trick or treat is, is very personal. If you choose not to do trick or treating, that's absolutely fine. And I'm not just meaning going out and about and going and knocking on people's doors. I mean, if you're an adult and like to do that kind of thing, well, then that's fine. But you might be going out with your kids. And um, if that's the case, make sure that people know not to come and bother your dog. If they're going to be home alone, you know, ringing the doorbell constantly, banging, tr tricking the house, that kind of thing. So maybe make it nice and clear that, you know, there's no one in without, you know, obviously like the burgling in. You, know, you have to find the balance, don't you? Um, so make sure that you know, people aren't going to be, I don't think we do the trick as much as we used to, but you know, exit windows and that kind of thing. We don't want anything that's going to scare the dog when they're home alone. Equally, if you are in and you're, wel you're welcoming trick or treaters in, oh, hello, come to join the show. Um, there's a few safety precautions you really need to consider. Firstly, children who come to the door for trick or treat tend to be dressed up often in Halloween frightening costumes. Um, what we don't want is you with your new dog opening the door and then the dog freaking out and bolting out. Um, we want to make sure that you can open the door, the dog's in another room, safely behind a door or a baby gate or someone's got hold of them so that with, there's no risk that they're gonna disappear. Hello, hi. Um, there's, no, there's no risk that they're gonna be frightened. Um, so make sure that that always happens. Make sure that they are safe when you're opening the door, more so than when you open the door normally to people. There's a higher risk that we're going to have fireworks on um, Halloween. So just make sure that you've done your preparation for your fireworks, which is on another video, which you can find. I know it's a long video, it was a seminar, but I just thought it, was, it covered everything. So why not have it up there? You have to watch it all in one go. Um, so make sure you're aware of that. Um, Obviously, trick or treats, lots of sweets, not just on the night, but when you walk with your dog the next day, make sure that you're keeping an eye on the road, the paths, make sure that nothing's been dropped that your dog can eat that's going to be dangerous to them. Lots of people like to dress their dogs up for Halloween. Totally personal choice, not my bag, but I know that a lot of people do like to do it. And some dogs do actually like 
being dressed up. So you can do it within reason. Obviously make sure your dogs are happy and comfortable and it's not restricting their movement um, and they are happy and allowing you to do it. Don't force them into something. They really don't need to be dressed up. They don't understand it. So just be aware of that. Um, and then walking your dog. So make sure you're walking them before the darkness comes. So kind of at the minute with all oh, the dogs have changed though, won't they? So um, like, I don't know what time it will be, but maybe five, six o'clock, make sure you're walking them in daylight. Make sure you're keeping an eye out for bits and pieces on the floor. And that includes if there has been fireworks going off, the remnants of fireworks um, on the fields, as the stray if you're in Harrogate is always a popular one, but big open spaces, just be aware of the chance that there may be more litter about and more litter that might be harmful to your dog. And just overall, just be a little bit more vigilant, just be a little bit more aware that things are going to be there that your dog's not used to, that they haven't, for some dogs they won't have encountered at all, for some dogs it might be a whole year since they've encountered these things and it is going to freak them or freak some of them out if they're not that resilient to change. So make sure that you're prepared for it, that's all I'm saying and just I'm just highlighting a few things here that um, might be of a concern to dogs or to you. So if you've got any other suggestions, anything else that you think might that you've come across with your dog over Halloween that I haven't thought of, feel free to post them below um, so that you know we can discuss them and the best best practice. If you've got any problems, give me a shout. All right, thanks so much. Speak to you soon. Bye.